I was like really surprised on how people treated the veterans when they came back and they would spit in their face and be super rude to them after everything they've been through. They're getting attacked all the time and then they came home and they just were treated like trash. And I explained. So my goal with this documentary was to try to give back to them some respect that they should have gotten 50 years ago. And talk about a learning lesson here at Fleming Island High School. So it's always welcome home whenever you see a Vietnam veteran and after that you can say thank you for your service and we'll love you that much more for that. Thank you. And you can see these students just taking it all in. I hope that all of them feel as much love as we do here in America just for their service and all that they've done. And their senior naval instructor, David Keller. I wear my, my emotions on my sleeve, but... Um, and you could hear those emotions in his voice. On three, welcome home. One, two, three. Welcome home. And what a moment right here. This is not your ordinary group photo. It was so amazing because it's just like talking to history. And that history. We were sent out on a recon patrol and there were 65 of us went out and six of us came back. That respect. I think by now most Americans recognize that we got it wrong. And I now resolve never to let it happen again. So, for our future leaders, a challenge now from Petty Officer Newman. And we don't want you to make the mistakes that, we that our government made with us. So, enter the disaster of Agent Orange. Agent Orange, one of the harsh lessons we point out in our documentary. We are giving you the responsibility to make sure it never happens again. And I say applause to Fleming Island High School. Veterans tell me it's a breakthrough just to get into a Clay County school. We are the last of the walking historians. We've been trying for uh, 12 years to get into the schools here in Clay County, and we've been more or less uh, rejected. But now, because of Jeannie Blaylock <laughs> and her passion for the Vietnam veterans and our participation in the war. Uh, we're sitting here today in Fleming Island High and uh, having an opportunity to speak to the students here. And that's so, we so much appreciate that. Petty Officer Newman is Vice President of the Florida Council of the Vietnam Veterans of America. And he just got some good news. The Superintendent of Schools has now pledged to have Vietnam veterans come to history classes this fall throughout Clay County. It's a big step to teach students about the Vietnam War.